Hi guys, my name is Noshad and welcome to Learn MVC. This is our 15th video and the 15th lecture. And I have already told you in my previous video uh, how to ignore this code, how to remove this code, and what is the other way to write code which is ignore this code, right? So let's do the practical so it's very easy how to use a model binder. So I just remove the form collection here and you can see I'm just passing string and the name of the variable is text name the other is string address string contact number and the last one is string in my address right that's done now I just remove this code FRN text in name here and just pass just text in name. Just remove this one, text the address. Text the contact number. And here last one is text in name. That's simple. Now the other code is same code, right? So let's run the application. Let's see. Uh, just call the customer index. click on save data and you can see here the txt name is Milcom, txt address in Mumbai, txt contact number is this one, txt email address is also is there just do the step over here retrieve the data and just click on save and they will save automatically and call the load customer and you can see it is already added. So one question is coming in your mind here. How they fill a data with this property, right? With this variable. So this is the auto assign a data to the parameterized variable from the actions with using model binding. So you can see here, I have passed the name of the variable is txt name, txt address name, txt contact number and txt email. This is the same name of the control name. You can see here, my control name is txt name. So I can pass here txt name, right? Here txt address. So you can see here, I have passed txt address. In that same way, txt contact number and txt email address. If the name of the parameter and the name of the control is a different they will not automatically bind a data from parameterize the control data from the property variable so please make sure the controller actions parameters variables name is the same name of the controller name control name not controller okay so this is very pretty this is very easy to use a uh, model binding in is dotted MVC. Here one question is coming in your mind. Suppose I have a 20 to 30 control in my form. So do I need to pass a 20 and 30 parameter here? You can see here I have pass only here four parameter. Suppose I have a 30 control or 40 control in my form and I need to save a data that all 
I need to save the that all data in my database. So do I need to pass uh, all parameter here? So the one we eat, yes, you can pass here the all parameter and uh, but this is not preferred because uh, this is a very lengthy and uh, it is very complicated to use. So this is other way to do these things with model binding. I'll take the one small demo in my next video. I hope you are enjoying with this video and I hope also you can understand how to use a model binding in ESP.NET. Thank you very much for the watching this video.